Hey, what's up, everybody? We are back. Then we're going to do one more game. One more game. Uh, we're getting out the White Knights deck that I love to play. It's pretty casual. Yes. Can I see you? Huh? Can I see you? Yeah, if you get close to the camera, they can oh, see you. Um, so, yeah, the White Knights deck, um, one of my favorites that, uh, you know, as, as you've seen from the videos, if, if you watched all, there's like three or four decks I play. Um, just because Modern's a little expensive and Standard's a little bit expensive, everything's a little bit expensive. Do I keep this for the hell of it? Yeah, let's screw it. Keeping it casual, keeping a big land hand here, and I <laughs> the, the only update I did to this deck was that I put in my cool planes. Because seeing the old regular planes just made me mad, so I had to go back and make sure I had the Zendikar planes in there. See? This, this dude knows what's up. He knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> that made me madder than losing a game was seeing like the regular planes in there. So this is good. Um, you know, turn three, we swing in. We drop our student in warfare, get two levels on that. So not not bad. I think especially with student of warfare, it doesn't hurt to have a bunch of mana that you don't need either. So might do okay uh, until whatever this is happens. We can still actually get damage in, so we are going to be attacking. Going to be attacking like crazy. You know, we we'll, we don't know what he's up to. We'll take all the lifelink we can get. Uh, do I drop the Sky Hunter? That's yeah. I think we need to be able to fly over this dude, get some damage in. So we'll drop Sky Hunter and Student on this turn. Next turn we start pumping up the Student of Warfare with all our excess mana until. Um, this wall of roots is out of the way, and something bigger is in the way. Yeah, all these things are 2-2s two here. Um, Brave the Elements is is one of our win conditions. I always talk when that sound happens. Um, Brave the Elements, a win condition for us. Um, Riders of Gavany, a win condition for us. Um... And what else? I mean, here are the blade hold just going like super wide. That can be a win condition. Um, that might be just about it. I think I, I'm running with the else. Am I doing Elspeth in this one? Yeah, I think so. Hex proof. Number of forests you control. So it's not indestructible, which is good. And our dude here gets first strike once we level him up. How about that? So, um, do we just kind of race damage for damage? We can probably do that. 3-3 three, three first strike. Tapped out. Although, you know what, he's just going to block it with Wall of Roots. That, that's all that's going to happen. But, it is a hell of a defender against the Dungrove Elder until he drops another forest down. So, yeah, it's a good thing we got the Sky Hunter here. We are running some swords in this deck. So, hoping to get into that. Man, even that Student Warfare, the double strike, 4-4. Four, four. Um, we, we might have to wait for the right time to and win off of Brave the Elements, I think. So, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That might take a minute to get to 12. I'm just thinking if all these guys get through with the double strike... So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Because um, we can't get past that Dungrove Elder anytime soon. 
Unless he swings in with a defender. Oh, I was thinking about this card the other day, actually. Exchange your life total with the toughness of that. So if he... Exchange your life total... He's not swinging in. Yeah, oh yeah, because I got two first strikes. Yeah. Hmm. Path. Interesting. I feel like this is going to be a trouble. Dungrove Elder is trouble. We got to get some damage through. I'm s I don't like that tree of redemption. So we can if we pass Tree of Redemption, he gets a forest, Dungrove Elder gets stronger. Um Mm, I don't know. Break the elements. Eight, nine, ten, eight, it's still twelve. That number has not changed. So Oh boy. Still put him at like six life. We can't really go for lethal yet. Do I swing it? He's just gonna block it with some dumb shit. Just wait until we can get him down to like 12. I think I should path. Exchange your life to him. I know, I know that there's some crazy, crazy trick with that. Dude. We, we got path up, but doesn't mean you can't tap it. Tree folk costs one less. Okay. At least he's mono green. It makes getting in with Brave the Elements super easy. Any other creatures that we drop, though, it's going to take... Oh, there's the Reach. So that's a chump blocker there. That's going to put us back a turn. But we still got him off the first strike, though. But that done, Grove Elder. Until he drops one more, two, two more for us. I think we can probably just path it. But I think until then we can wait. Okay. So this gets a little better. Let's see what these guys add up to now. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, that is lethal, and I am not going to overthink this, and bada bing, protection from green, swing in, good game, another win with the white knights. Attack with all creatures, protection from green, indestructible, what's up? I'm gonna just gonna. Oh, I can't path that. Oh, he's hexproof. That's why I can't path it. Yeah, so the Knight Exemplar is really good with the Anthem effect on there, too. Not only is it indestructible, there's also the Anthem. Pretty solid deal. Unless he's gonna fog. So good.
Yep, lethal. That's how the White Knights deck is played. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, the stream, and uh, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and we will see you tomorrow.